Hello everybody, this is Vinayak from Works for Lifetime, your go-to provider for Lifetime VPS, dedicated servers, managed WordPress hosting and more. Brought to you by Works4.com. In today's tutorial, we are going to walk you through how to install and run DeepSeek using Olama on your VPS. If you are looking to harness the power of AI models, this tutorial is for you. Before we begin, let's quickly understand what we are working with DeepSeek is a powerful AI search engine and Olama is an interface that allows you to run and manage AI models on your machine. Together, these tools can provide advanced AI capabilities on your VPS. Before starting, make sure you have the following in place, such as a VPS with root access. You can grab one from Voxfor.com. Operating system that should be Ubuntu 22.04 or 20.04. SSH access to your VPS and basic familiarity with Linux commands. We have already covered some Linux commands on our YouTube channel as well as our blog. Go check them out. Once you are ready, connect to your VPS with SSH and let's move forward. Go to browser, head over to olama.com. Click on the download button to download Olama. Choose the operating system. We are on Linux, so choose Linux. Copy this command. Go to terminal. Paste it and press enter. This command will install Olama on our Linux machine, which is used to run models such as DeepSeek, Llama, open source models. DeepSeek is an open source model which is a direct competitor to OpenAI's Oven. Olama installation has been completed and it has detected that we are on a NVIDIA based GPU machine. Up next, we will pull an image from Olama website. For that, go to models, choose the model. In our case, we will use DeepSeek R1. Click on the DeepSeek R1 and then scroll down. We can see that it has already selected the 7 billion parameters. Click on it. We will choose the 671 billion parameters model. Copy this command, which is Olama run DeepSeek R1 colon 671B. Colon is used to represent the value of parameters of my AI model. Copy it. Go to terminal paste it and press enter. Now Olama will start to download the DeepSeek R1 model on our Linux VPS. Make sure the VPS is a bare metal or virtual private server with high performance computing. This is required to make sure our AI model works perfectly without any interruptions. Also, it is required that your VPS or dedicated server should have a high bandwidth and high speed internet. Vox4 will be the right choice for it. I will run it to complete. DeepSeek model with SHA-256 has been downloaded successfully. Once the download process is completed, the SHA-256 digest will be verified and other requirements such as memory, etc will be checked. Since the 671 billion parameters model requires 400 GB of RAM, which is less as compared to our 45 GB of RAM, we can try it with another model. We can see that the model is being downloaded and the SHA-256 digest is being verified. This model has 70 billion parameters instead of the 671 billion parameters which we were using previously. The SHA-256 digest verification, this won't take longer because of the model size being 10 times less than the previous one. We can see that it has been success and the model is now being initialized. Send a message has appeared in front of us now. So I will type, hi, how are you? And what's your name? And press enter. Now the deep seek will think about my question. The thinking which the DeepSeek model does, similar to the Oven model, 
is shown in the think tag. Now it's giving us the answers for the question I asked it. This will take some time. If you want to stop the answer in middle, you can press the control C command to cancel it. I will now ask what is your name? And you can see it will reply to my question. These are some predefined questions which can be listed or asked while being in the command line mode. You can see it is right now thinking about the question which I asked it. It is giving the thought process to us. The thought process has completed and it is providing us with a reply. This is how we can use DeepSeq model by Olama on our command line. Moving further, let's look at how we can use DeepSeq R1 with a web interface of Olama, which is also called Open Web UI. To use Olama's web UI, we will go to our blog and copy the commands present in the tutorial. First, we will exit Olama from here by typing slash by. We have to install Docker for using the open web UI and running the web interface. To create a Docker repository, we will first create a directory. And after creating a directory, we will pull the Docker image and the Docker GPG keys. First, let me update my repositories by doing sudo apt update. After the update has been finished, we will do sudo apt upgrade for the same by typing sudo apt grade. This will upgrade all the repositories and packages present in our Linux machine or Linux dedicated server. Wait for it to complete. After the update is complete, proceed further. You may be asked to restart your kernel. Press enter. Now our Linux server is up to date. Proceed further and install curl. We will now install key strings. Key strings are now added. Go back to our blog and copy the command to download Docker GPG keys. Paste the key over to your terminal and press enter. Change the permissions for the same by doing sudo chmod a plus r and the directory. Copy this command, go to terminal, paste it and press enter. Go back to our blog, add the docker repository, copy this, go to terminal again, paste it, press enter. This configuration will let you download the docker gpg keys. Update our repositories once again by doing sudo apt update. Once the update is done, we will go ahead and download or install docker. Copy this command present at our blog. Go to terminal, paste it and press enter. This command will be used to install docker ce. Now, we will go ahead and configure open web UI by running the docker script. Copy this, go to terminal, paste it and press enter. I will be using the port 8080 instead of 11434. This will help me to keep the Apache alternate port 8080 instead of the 80. Press enter. Image is being downloaded for open web UI right now. Once the download is completed, we will be able to access the OpenWebUI interface from our panel. This may take some time. We can see that the download is being commenced. The download of OpenWebUI image has been successful. Now we can go to our browser and test it out. Go to our browser with the IP address of our server along with the port 8080. We'll open a new tab, paste the IP address along with our port 8080 and press enter. The open web UI web interface is now present in front of us. We can sign up 
if we are using it for the first time or choose the login if we have already created our account. I will log in using my email and my password since I have already created it over here. This is the web dashboard or web interface for Open Web UI. We can see that the DeepSeek model is already selected. If I go ahead and enter in the chat something, for example, I ask it to hi, give me a code for a simple HTML page for hello world and send it to the DeepSeek model, it will generate the code and give it to me along with the thought process. I will press enter and wait for the feedback from the DeepSeek model. This can take some time because the AI model is having limited number of parameters as compared to the full-fledged version. We can see now that the thinking process has already started and it is showing us as well the thought process used while answering for this prompt. If we think that the parts or responses are not appropriate, we can also point them out to the DeepSeek using its own think process or called the thought process. Let's wait for the result from DeepSeek. DeepSeek R1 has already started to give us the web code or the web page code for a simple hello world document. This is quite unique because it is having the same capabilities as that of OpenAI's Oven model which is being used or provided by OpenAI for $20 as the basic plan and $200 for the maximum plan. We will copy this code given by the Open Web UI and DeepSeek. Go to HTML editor. There are plenty of online editors as well. I will search for an online editor. Well, this gives us a description. Now I will paste the code given by ChatGPT into this and run it. The simple hello world page has now run up. This shows us the capability of DeepSeek and the open source AI models. And that's it. You have successfully installed and run DeepSeek using Olama on your VPS. Now you can harness the power of AI right from your server or your home computer. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and share it with others interested in AI and Linux. Check out our blog linked in the description for detailed instructions and remember for lifetime VPS, dedicated servers and managed WordPress hosting visit Voxfor.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.